Good afternoon. Um, I want to bring the Northampton License Commission special meeting uh, to order December 17, 2018. Um, commissioners present Brian Campanelli, Chair, and Helen Kahn. Uh, Natasha Yakalov is absent. Just want to make an announcement that we are audio and video recording. <clears throat> and uh, first on the list would be public comment. Do we have any public comment today? Uh, yeah, sir. I would like to comment on I'm, I'm here today with Mr. Uh, Chen of Osaka. I would like to comment on the wage bond that was assessed against Osaka Japanese. Uh, the bond was in the amount, I'm sure as you're aware, of $180,000, uh, which uh, is of such an amount that the attempt to deal with whaling to obtain a bond, uh, there was some indication that uh, it may be difficult to even get a bond in that, that level. Uh, but it's being, the bond is being pursued. Uh, but I think more to the point, uh, there has already been a penalty and uh, restitution of a significant amount paid here. And the bond shouldn't be uh, intended to be an additional penalty. It's really to guarantee wages uh, in, in the event of a violation. The bond, by statute, has to continue for three years, uh, whereas the, the license is year by year. So there would be actually three bonds before the end of the period here, which puts a, uh, an, uh, an additional financial burden on Osaka. Uh, we simply feel that the, uh, the purpose of the bond would be served by uh, a lower figure. Realistically, after having paid a, a five-figure uh, amount uh, as a penalty and restitution, it's it, it, repetition of a figure that high over the next each of the next three years. I would suggest is you know is almost nil. Uh, the remedial purposes of the bond would be, I would suggest, served by bond in the range of maybe fifty to seventy thousand dollars at most. Uh, that's something that wouldn't financially punish the licensee uh, over and above the the penalties that they've already sustained. Uh, it, it would be fair. Uh, it would uh, meet the purposes of the statute and would guarantee, in effect, that uh, even though we certainly don't expect any violations, but it would be in a sufficient amount to protect any employees over that one year period for the, the next three years. So, uh, the comment is really that uh, with business being not, not bad by any means, but uh, over the next three years, I mean, it's some people are suggesting we may see a slowdown, and uh, it would be regrettable to see uh, you know, a, a respected establishment uh, have an undue burden on them in connection with the bond. So essentially, we're we're asking that the the commission, in its discretion in setting the bond, uh, look at a at a reduction of the amount of the bond. Uh, and since this has to be the bond has to be completed by the end of the year in order for the license to be renewed, uh, it's you know it's a, obviously of great importance to the licensee. To, to have that uh, in place. But we do feel in the sense of fairness that uh, the figure of essentially three times the amount of the, of the underlying penalty and restitution uh, is simply uh, reflects more of, a, of an additional penalty rather than serving the purpose of having funds there to 
uh, protect employees who would deservedly be entitled to something if there were a violation. Uh, but again, I would suggest that uh, given the, the payment that's already been made, uh, violations for each of the next three years is very unlikely. And, uh, and that's essentially the, the essence of, of our comments. That, that we feel that uh, nothing would be lost by reducing the amount of the bond and what would be gained would be to allow the restaurant to continue in business uh, without having the, right now a, a, a heavy burden of a very high bar. Thank you for your consideration of this. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> from what I do understand, the uh, council recommended <clears throat> that amount, and I believe that that amount is across the board for all restaurants and how to purchase that bond as well. I have, I have, I've understood from talking with, uh, with council, with Alan Seawall, that uh, in earlier occasions, and I think there have only been a, a couple, uh, there was the three times figure. Uh, I would suggest there, though, that it's my information that the amount of the, in those cases, the amount of the, 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 the penalty and restitution is far lower than, than in this case, so that uh, the, it's not a one, a one size fits all formula, I would suggest. When, when we're dealing with numbers this large, that uh, it, it makes sense to look at it on the, the individual facts of this case and uh, not apply a formula that, that ends up with a, an effect that maybe wasn't what really intended. Uh, I can understand that, that when there's a, a lower amount, uh, a far lower amount, uh, that was an issue, three times that for one would be appropriate. But here, when it, in, when it yields a figure as large as we're looking at here, it's, uh, I'd say the facts are substantially different. And, in our view, that would justify uh, a, a different procedure in setting the amount of bond. And uh, my understanding, I think that, that, that the board does have, the license commission does have discretion in uh, setting the bond. And uh, in that regard, we would certainly appreciate any consideration that you might be willing to extend to the licensee. Okay. I'll uh, you know take your comments into consideration and um, certainly reach out to uh, council and talk to them about that as well. Okay. Right. Thank you. Right, thank you. Cafe 176 Pine Street is Lawrence. Proposed manager is Diamond John Way. Yes. How are you? I'm fine. Um, so, why don't you tell us a little bit about your establishment? Um, yeah, I kind of just dove into that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> um, uh, we're going to be doing breakfast, lunch, and uh, I think two or three days out of the week. Um, we're going to try to open till eight just to see how that goes if there's traffic, so on and so forth, but it's pretty, I'm not going to say generic, but uh, <laughs> we're still working on the menu right now with the cooks and everything, but uh, this is what was holding me back, so everything else is approved, uh, City Hall, building department, everything, so. Okay. <clears throat> and do you have experience running a restaurant? Uh, no, I don't know, last year, I literally just mentioned. got the place and remodeled and, you know, yeah, now broke. So, okay. <laughs> where did you do before? I own landscape company. Where is that? Uh, Springfield and Worcester, Diamonds Landscape and Professional Services. No so, kidding. Yeah. Yeah. Good. But what are your hours? You said till eight. You're going to try and stay open. Yeah, 
I'm going to try at least two, three days. I think uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm going to try that uh, for, who knows, like the first month or two. If it doesn't look promising, then for like 3.30, I believe, uh, from 6 to 3.30. Right. Uh, you know, keep it as, as that. Okay. And when are you hoping to open? Um, well, today's the 17th, so I have to say, um, my cook is going on vacation until the 21st, so after Christmas, probably the 26th or 27th, so. And do you have your staff out? I'm just curious. Yeah, I already hired people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they've been hired since two weeks ago. So, yeah. yeah. Right. I had to give them a little extra checks just to keep them aboard. Yeah. So, you yeah, I completed the to the health department. Yeah. Okay. I don't have any other questions. Um. No. Okay. All right. Want to make a motion? Uh. Yeah. Sure. I make a motion that we um approve um the common victual license for Monterey Cafe LLC DBA Monterey Cafe at one seventy six Pine Street in Florence. Second to that, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate it. Good luck with it. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we're for new business. New business. <laughs> okay. Motion to adjourn. No, it's just a need to be discussion about yeah. the comment. Well, okay, so we probably, I mean, exactly what I told him, I'd like to reach out to Castle, you know, the attorney and see what he has to say about it. But from what you're saying, because I haven't dove into that since we dealt with it before, but if everybody across the board is paying 180, is that what you're saying? Not 180, but three, three or four times, times the amount. Yes. Yeah. That they do. And it is true that the former penalties were more in the nature of like, Two to five thousand dollars for something like yeah, that, right? Versus sixty-two thousand dollars. Right. And um, prior to last meeting, I asked Alan what what the suggestion would be, and he said, "Well, three to four times we did that for everyone else, so we should do that for them." So. Yeah. So and he knew, and he knew the figures that we were talking about. Oh yeah, he yeah. knew. And, he said, and the mayor knew, and everyone knew beforehand. So. He did. His attorney brought up a good point, though. I mean. And first, and I also want to say, there was no bond in existence, correct? When he did violate. No. And he paid the violation. I, I mean, I don't so, know. We don't get notice of that. Right, but I'm, I'm saying, according to them, what they said today, that they paid their violation um, <clears throat> in a five-figure manner, which is the $60,000 plus, right? So it seems that there's already you know, uh, a power of restitution in place on top of the bond. So and that's what I'd like to talk to the attorney and just see, you know, because, you know, he's brought it before us. We should at least consider that mm -hmm. and do our due diligence with uh, counsel and see if we suggest something again. You know, if he feels like it could be a little different because of the large the violation, the, the size yeah. of it, you know. So is that something we'd have to do in a meeting, or can we do that, you know, a phone call or email? I'll ask you. And then just get back to me. Mm -hmm. uh, that'd be great. Yeah, because it does sound like it's something that has to be decided before the end of the year, right? Because we're saying that they need to get this bond. Yes, but we did. Do we give them a new We did approve it until January 31st, right? Just in case. Right. It doesn't matter. Yeah, we should be able to talk to him in the next couple of days. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, okay. And if it has to wait until next meeting, when is that? Really? That January 3rd. Yeah, so that still gives plenty of time for them. If he has to come here and be during the meeting. Okay. Any, um, anything else that we. Sorry, what time is this? Uh, when is the meeting on January 3rd? 4th? Yeah, 4th. Yeah, mm -hmm. Wait, so that's on a, okay, it's on a Thursday. But it is on Thursday. The first one, probably. Okay. Um, I do not know. Yeah, so it's, it is, because uh, the next day I fly out.
motion to adjourn? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.